Hey guys, my name is Dane, and finally the patch notes has been released for the patch released with the Jakku DLC for Battlefront. And I promised when I went over the uh, Jakku DLC that I would go over the patch notes once they came out. Now, as always, I'm only covering the well the notes with the biggest impact on the game and the thing that I feel is most important to talk about. So let's get started. There's now been added a pre-round timer, so every time you start a round. There's gonna be a time to wait, I think it's 10 or 20 seconds, one of those two, 10 or 20 seconds until this game starts, so those with a slower hard drive or something like that will have time to get in so they're not just thrown in or if one team has got all SSDs and they've set up all of their defenses or they've assaulted the point before the other team has even gotten in, that should be fixed now. And finally there's a toggle chat or play around with the chat visibility. I've been waiting for this for quite some time. I think it's awesome because sometimes I just want to remove the chat because there's just too much whining and bitching in the game. Spawns have been spread out more so hopefully now the spawns shouldn't be so horrible as they are. Um, I really hope that this is the case because the spawns before was just horrible. I have noticed that the spawns are different but I can't really speak too much on this subject before I've been playing the game for quite some time because I gotta say it's hard to notice because there's just so many things that kills you instantaneously that well I hope that this will have fixed it and there needs to be no more tweaks to the spawn systems. They have also balanced the pick up location so they're not in favor of one team or the other and there's not really one that's sitting on a place that everybody's either able to shoot you at or on the opposite end that nobody is able to just go pick it up and then use it because there's cover all around and you can't kill them at all. There's also been audio adjustments features added so you can adjust all of the different things, all of the different audio sources in the game and I really hope that I'm able to remove some of the voiceovers that sometimes happen in the game like the HAT is vulnerable, you need to attack. I mean I know that I don't want to hear that all of the time. and. When vehicles, I think it's probably only the air vehicles, when they've been hit by a missile or a rocket, they will shake and you can't really control them because they are moving uncontrollably. So yeah, that should help taking out air vehicles way more than before. And couple that with the fact that iron and torpedoes doesn't have the starfighter start speed at all time but have a more consistent speed across all speeds. I don't know exactly what they mean by that, but I hope that they just mean that this is only one speed no matter how fast your fighter or your starfighter, whatever, is going. And this also helps to balance it out again because I think that it's just too easy to hit someone with a rocket or a torpedo because they just catch up way too fast. There's no more at at control on, final, um, on the final uplink on Hearth. And there is no TIE Fighter at the final uplink on Hearth as well in Walker Assault. Vehicle pickups for Rebels have been moved closer to their spawns so they don't have to run as long as they did previously to get to the point. And I think this is a good thing because sometimes there's just a camper or someone who's flanked around who kills you way before you get to a given pickup. And that's just, well it sucks basically. And Explosive shot have a reduction of damage by 50% so the explosive shot star card does 50% less damage. And blasters have gotten an increased damage to starfighters. Now impact nade. This is a thing that I've been hating for quite some time. The impact nade now does 90 damage instead of 100. So it shouldn't one hit kill unless of course they've taken damage and that's the way it should be. No grenade that detonates on impact should be a one hit kill. Not only that, the nade radius, the blast radius have been increased, no not increased sorry, decreased from 3 meters to 2.5 meters and the AOE damage from 130 damage to 100 damage. I don't know what they mean by this because I mean at damage to people around them have been reduced basically. I guess that's the only way that you can go about this. The barrage ha had a damage reduction, so it doesn't do 55 damage, now it does 50 and the full damage radius have been decreased by half a meter. 
Homing shot range has gotten a decrease from 200 meters to 160. It's not the biggest decrease, but I guess it's a step in the right direction. I hate the homing shot, a lot of you probably know that already from your own experience. Flashbang now does hit markets when it blinds an enemy, so now you are able to tell if you blinded someone when you threw in a flash grenade, even though I don't use it at all. You now play two rounds in Walker Assault to play both sides. And when it comes to heroes, Han Solo's lucky shot no longer one hits some vehicles. At least that's what I've been able to understand from the patch notes. And I haven't really seen him one shot vehicles ever since. But then again, it's a rare occasion, so it's hard to test out. And Boba's missile no longer automatically locks on. This is a great feature, but that I guess that means that you have to aim and be on point for a second a half a second or a second before it locks on and then you fire and then it lock flies and it's locked on basically so yeah but what i still like for this game to fix is that you can only have one nade per loadout i i don't think you should have access to diff different nades at the same time and maybe just one lethal card per loadout because i mean people use one grenade that instant kills you and then use the homing shot or the pulse cannon and stuff like that. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm really not a big fan of all of the one hit kill gadgets or weapon. I've never been a fan of those. Of course, if it's skill and you get a headshot or something like that, then go for it. But something like the homing shot, I really think that the homing shot should be a pickup. So please, guys, please make this a pickup. And the ATST still has some horrible spawns. I mean, there was nowhere where they t said anything about the point of the ATSTs where they are going to spawn in because a lot of the time you spawn in and you get killed before you even reach the battleground because, well, they've got line of sight of on you and you can't really see them and they've got tons of luck on weapons. So they kill you till you die. It sucks. The movement is a bit janky still. I mean, sometimes I get stuck on pebbles. I know it dies, but please, this game is beautiful. And the aesthetics of it, everything is just mind-blowing. You raise the bar all around. And I gotta hand it to dice on that point. But please, still, pebbles shouldn't stop me. If I'm using um, Emperor Palpatine and I'm using his Force Charge or whatever it's called, I shouldn't be stopped by a pebble. Please fix the collision of this. And why is it still the buddy system? Why why can't we just have squad system? I, I like the way that squad worked in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 and in Battlefield Bad Company too. I mean, DICE, you've worked on so many games and done squad system correctly. Now you've just gone about and said, Oh no, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> that's probably not how they went about it. But yeah, you get my drift. I think that the squad system is something that should be in Battlefront instead of the buddy system or at least make so that the buddy system works and you can party up with people or you can invite someone random from the game and say hey you want to be my buddy and he's like yeah okay I'll go ahead because a lot of the time I've been playing around and suddenly my buddy leaves and then I'm stuck with no buddy until the next round. That sucks. There's a lot of ramming too. Oh boy. Um, let's just say that the... Millennium Falcon puts up his shield, charges the Slave 1. The Slave 1 dies, the Millennium Falcon survives and has gotten a one-hit kill. That shouldn't be the case and a lot of the time people just dive down in the speeders and the fighters to one-hit kill by ramming the different heroes. I know this is a viable tactic because it's a fast way to take out a hero and of course they wouldn't be able to survive this but I still think that it's a cheap tactic, but then again, a lot of the time it doesn't really work out in favor for those guys who are ramming, so yeah. The proxy mine still activates when teammates run over it, and even when I run over it myself. I really think this should be fixed, it should only activate by enemy players, never by teammates or yourself. And nowhere in these patch notes did I see anything about the DL44 blaster pistol. I still think that this one is too overpowered, it needs to do less damage less damage up close and then maybe have a smaller drop off in damage across range but up close i just think that it's too powerful i also wish that we had something to just play around with the hot the interface make the minimap smaller the card smaller the uh 
UI for whatever game mode you're in, if it's Walker Assault, you know, with the walkers, their health, and all of the uh, bombers that's gonna come in later, I wish that you could either fade them out, remove them completely, or change the size of those. Because it's a beautiful game, and I still want those thing in there, but at least just scale them down and make them, make them fade a bit, because they're not just as important as, well, as I think, they, they should be able to be customized, basically. I've had a problem ever since I started that sometimes I just got killed in action while flying. I get in, I start flying, fly around, I I rock the skies basically. I love flying in this game and I rock the skies for a lot of time and then suddenly I'm just killed in action. Randomly. This, please, I, this is a bug and a glitch, please, I think you should fix this. I also think that the AT-80s are a bit too overpowered, it, I mean, they turn the heads way too fast, like, oh, there's one in the way other end of the map, other side of the map, you can just, with a flick of a wrist, aim at him, shoot, dead. Fair enough if it's powerful, but sometimes I feel like I'm way behind cover, he's just hitting at the, uh, at the rock or whatever, and I'm way behind cover, but still the blast damage, damage me behind the cover, that's... I really don't like that and the way that it's just able to make a flick of the wrist and you're just aiming at whoever you want to aim at, of course, if it's in within your cone of sight. But I, I still think that it's a bit too overpowered and I think that that should be fixed somehow, but I don't know how. Maybe make the head turn a lot slower and the blast radius shouldn't go behind cover. But that's just my two cents on it. Um, melee is still a bit bugged. I mean, fair enough, when you come from behind, I come from behind, oh dang, shut up about those, you know, and those, but basically when you hit someone in the head from behind, or basically just from behind, they die in a one shot. That's fair, but I don't like how you run along, you try to melee, and you stop, and it's janky, it doesn't feel fluid. Not as fluid as the rest of the game, so that kind of bothers me still. And my biggest issue right now is, whenever I make my secondary loadout, my second hand, it resets every time I join a new game or I can make it while not in a game and when I enter it's gone or the next one and it's gone. Please guys, I really want you guys to stop resetting my hand. I get This is basically making me only go for the same loadout constantly and I still think that when you're dead you should be able to customize your loadout like okay that didn't work. Let's just change that a bit, but in case you don't want to go for that, fair enough, but then please, I don't know how many of you guys out there have got this problem, but I've got this problem, and it sucks. Whew. Okay, so that last part here was basically just a rant about the things that I still think that DICE needs to fix for Battlefront. It's a great game, I love it, and it's so beautiful, I can't wait for the future games, and I can't wait for the next Star Wars movie, and all of that, but basically... I just went over all of the main things, the things that I thought was most important of the patch notes and I just gave them to you and then of course I kinda gave all of my thoughts about what should be fixed and what should be the next goal to fix or what you should work towards. I know that it turned into a rant, I'm sorry about this guy, Deh. I'm sorry about this guys but I really want this game to be awesome. I know that it's not really the most popular game out there by a lot of the Battlefield gamers, like Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 gamers, they aren't all too fond of Battlefront, but I still love it. So yeah, <sighs> breather. Thanks for watching guys, let me know what you guys think of the patch notes in the comments below and let me know what things you still want them to change if of course you're playing this game, if you're not then, well, you don't really care about this, but I do care about this game and I really want this game to make it, I really want this game to be all that it can be, all that it's possible to be. So yeah, thanks for watching, let me know what you think in the comments down below, like this video and share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more and future content on my channel, and I'll see you all <laughs> in the next one.